Good morning from Julian Price Campground in North Carolina. This is Derek with Overwater Overland. We got in here late last night, got set up. It was, I think I was set up by 9.30. You can see I got the new 23-0 Armadillo A2 on the cap. Slept up there, very comfortable. It was a very nice uh, sleeping arrangement. It was warm. Um, I got down in the below 40, so down in the 30s at least. I got my OVS awning out this morning. I, I put that out last night, but you know, kind of kept the dew off of all the stuff I pulled out of the truck. Down here, I got a nice little campfire going. You see that? I'm gonna have coffee. Water's over here boiling in the jet boil. I can't seem to locate my coffee cup. So I'm using a reusable solo cup, which is insulated enough that it's not gonna melt. You can see I made some progress this morning getting packed. It is far better than it was yesterday. When I got here yesterday, everything was just a jumbled mess. So I got things packed up here. Last night I threw everything on the ground. The back of the truck was more or less a disaster from speed packing. The front seat of the truck will give you some indication of how the back of the truck looked. You can see I just got stuff going on every which way. Let's take a peek up here. I got my sleeping bag in there and pretty dark I didn't even know it was daylight Karen called and she goes hey it's eight o'clock you better get up I'm like holy cow there's the light suppression technology on the zero the 23 zero it's fabulous looks like my water's starting to boil oh yeah she's boiling good turn this off I'll do a little pour over See how much is in there already. Oh, not too much. Uh oh, she's folding up on me. Pour these down from up here. I'm gonna have some coffee by the fire, and I'm gonna come back over and make some oatmeal. Um, basically, I'm taking my vacuum sealed pre-cooked oatmeal sticking it in the jet boil and boiling it until it's cooked or warm I should say it's short of being microwaved um, that seems to be working out really well so then I'll have me some nice hot oatmeal and then uh, from there throw the rest of my stuff in the truck and uh, hit the road we're gonna head south um, I'm not quite sure where. I'm just uh, going to point the truck south and see where we end up. So tomorrow I'll be in Florida at some point during the day. Uh, I'm not quite sure where. Probably Corbet. Um, kind of south of Orlando, north of Miami. That's probably where I'll be. And uh, we're just going to see if we can find some place to do a little trail today and some more parkway and find a place to camp stick around guys we're gonna have a fun trip <laughs> good morning this is karen and derek good morning with, <laughs> our, with what over water over land there you go
Bonneville Falls. So we're gonna be on here uh, for a little while and then uh, looks like we do, um, uh, it looks like it's about 22 miles. So we'll be on the parkway for pretty much the whole thing. So we'll get uh, some really nice morning footage. Oh, look at the mountains in the background, wow. see just how beautiful this is.
just entered the Pisgah National Forest and the, the parkway runs for 48 miles through the National Forest. I think there's some trails, uh, off-road, there's some dispersed camping. Uh, there's a few different things you can do in Pisgah. Uh, so, you know, you can get off the parkway and meander about and, you know, get kind of deep into the, uh, the woods, if you will, um, a little bit further away from civilization. And we just might do that today. Still having fun with this, though. About eight more miles to Linville Falls. And every once in a while, you get a little glimpse of a valley and some mountains. So cool.
here to the Linville Falls parking area and cruise by the campground. How about seeing my pretty smiling face for a minute? Just gonna go out here and take a couple of shots, a little footage, see what's going on. I love that rock. Let's go down this way a little bit. Oh yeah, that's chilly. That's some chilly water there. Oh, I love camping by streams. I wish I could park the truck right here. Yes, I'm walking in the river. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't have waterproof boots on. Probably about as far as I want to go. And purchased a passport and a bunch of uh, uh, stickers and cards to fill the passport with. So we'll pick those up on our way out. We're going to head up to the falls. We're going to go this way. I don't know where I'm going, but we're going that way. Not even quite sure I can get up to the falls. We're just gonna walk around here and see what we can see. Take some pictures, take some video, and uh, just kind of enjoy it. He's swimming. Straight on down. Okay. Kind of in the middle of the Oh two yeah. Dogs yeah, he's about a yeah. 12, 13 yeah. inch. And then there was another couple with him, but I don't see him anymore. Yeah, hard to see. Yeah, down under that see log. Him. I see him. There is no swimming. 
in any waters in the parkway. On foot, I highly recommend hiking boots or something that laces up. It's a, it's a good solid half mile plus over uneven terrain and steps. That are made of rock. So don't come down here in the summer with your flip flops expect to walk down here and be comfortable. But let's take a peek over here. Now it's time to climb the steps and go back. Pick up our passport and hit the road. Got beat down by a mom because I was walking on my side of the trail. <laughs> Just can't go anywhere these days. I'm, I'm in your way. Well, lady, I was doing my part to stay on the right. My way back to the visitor center. Just realizing it's Monday. There's a lot of people here for Monday in October. More than I would have expected. And a lot of kids, too. They're like, nobody goes to school. Nobody works. I mean, I took vacation time, but I'm just saying. I wouldn't have thought it would be this busy. I think in the summer, it's probably wall to wall, bumper to bumper, this whole area. Spring and fall, those are gonna be your times to come. Not as many people, just as beautiful. Maybe even more so. The chimney view overlook, it's about another little over a quarter of a mile. I just don't have time. I gotta get rolling. We've got a long way to go today. So I'll get back here. We'll go up there again. Mm -hmm.